What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope everybody's doing well out there on this beautiful Friday. Doing really, really good myself. Shabbat Shalom to all the brothers and sisters in recognition to observing this day to worship in the Most High, okay? Sundown this evening to sundown tomorrow evening. Let's get some worship and praises in and most of all, well, rest. After all, that's what the Shabbat is all about. <clears throat> we are to do no servitile work, you know, for other, you know, uh, entities like, well, companies or whatever. Although sometimes um, we have no choice because we may have to work on those days. But we pray that the Most High will forgive us, you know, for having to do what we have to do or what have you. But most of all, that our hearts, which are is our minds, is on Him. And that's what matters, okay? Also, shout out to the sister Annette Diamond for hipping me to two of these topics that we're going to be discussing um, in this particular video right here. And you're looking at one of them, okay? In case for those of you that don't know, you know, what this picture is right here, this is on your $20 bill, the back of your $20 bill. And what it entails, well, actually what it shows, is uh, a black man, possibly even the Messiah, that is hanging. All right? That's what that is. And uh, if I, I could, this is basically most of, uh, this is all that it shows right here. But on the rest of it, you have a mass of people standing around watching it. So get your magnifying glasses out, people. You know what I mean? Turn your $20 bills over and uh, check it out. Check it out. Yeah, this is what it's all about right here, okay? Um, as we know, um, the earth was given into the hand of the wicked simply because the children, the chosen ones, which is us, um, fail. We fail and, and when we fail, well, then that's what happened because our ancestors ran after uh, false gods. Our ancestors, you know, brung, uh, went in with false gods to bring about certain entities on this earth that wasn't supposed to be. And that is what angered the most high. Then we failed to keep his particular uh, law, statutes and commandments. And that brought a terrible punishment you know, um, down on us as a people. This is the reason why we're going through what we're going through as a people to this day. But the Most High love us so much. And for every parent that chastises a child, it's not out of hate, but it's out of love. And in this situation, that's what it is, love, okay? I know it's rough, though. But at the same time, it's something that had to be done. You see, it had to be done. Just to make things right. But the beautiful thing is, is that we are coming out of the chastisement. And as we come out of the chastisement, there's a lot of things that the Most High is revealing to us where we are to this day. At the back of the book, which is called Revelation. And that's what Revelation means, is to reveal the truth. You see, this is the reason why we are seeing so many things you know, uh, 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 that's coming to the forefront, like this particular situation right here. And after all the, if I had, you know, uh, 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 a 20 for every time I held a 20 or whatever, then I wouldn't have to work. And yet and still, I never even noticed anything like this on the back of a $20 bill. But there it is. Okay. And we know in this country, in this culture of the knockoffs. And when I say knockoffs, these people who call themselves Jews, but... The Messiah said, I know th those that call themselves Jews, but you are not. You are the synagogue of Satan. This is their dorm right here. You see the truth coming out. The truth is coming out. See, they are not Jews. And for every uh, uh, entertainer, be it in sports or whatever genre of entertainment they're in, that will rise up and tell the truth. They are being punished and forced into apologizing. You understand? And we're going to get into that a little later. But I just, I, I really wanted to uh, 
you know, focus on this particular situation right here. But it's since that um their time, the fake knockoffs are up. It's up. And this is the reason why the Most High is bringing about, you know, uh, the truth. See? And they're doing every damn thing. This is the reason why we see in all of this, uh, what I call the heathen rages. The heathen is raging all over the world. Okay? And what I'm talking about, uh, Kins and Karens out in public meddling with the true jewels of the most eyes I, uh, I, all right? Lying, calling the police, you know what I mean, or what have you, telling lies and all of the kind of, that right there is an example of the heathen, the heathen, excuse me, the heathen is actually raging. That's what it boils down to, you see. But yeah, this is most likely uh, the Messiah being hung because number one, it is said too, that the Messiah was not killed on a cross. They said he was hung from a tree. You know, they said he was hung for a tr from the tree. And what do you see these low life subhuman bastards do? What have we been seeing ever since we've come into this world happening to our people up to this date? Our people being hung from a tree, okay? What do you see right here before you on this one, the back of this $20 bill and why you see these other entities up here looking out of a window at him? And like I said at the bottom, you know, uh, you'll see a, a bunch of people standing around watching this right here. But vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. There's going to be a Ooh, the day of darkness and terribleness will be a recompense. Recompense means to pay back all of these things that was done to the apple of the most high's eye. There's going to be a recompense like you've never seen. You know, the thrashing floor, you know, when the Messiah comes back. And there will be blood up to the horse's bridle. What do you think that means? There's going to be a lot of ass kicking going on. A lot of ass killing. So for all of these pig skin racist subhuman motherfuckers. Y'all got it coming. This shit that y'all done to black people. Our people. Us. Or what have you. Is a walk in the fucking park. Compared to what's coming for you. I can assure you that. And guess what? It is said that the Most High will use his children as his own battle axe. So you know what that shit mean. And that's the reason why you motherfuckers are raging. You, you, you raging. You're doing all kinds of sick shit. Dumb shit. You're putting yourselves in harm's way. Because you know what's coming. You been know. You, I, I bet you knew before the Most High's own children knew. But we're waking up now. Your racist deeds, your evil deeds that was done against the eye of the Most High's, you know, uh, 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 children, the apple of his eye, woke up a sleeping giant. Do you understand? Woke up a sleeping giant that you will not be able to control. That will eradicate you, you see. This is what it's coming down to. Let's get into the next topic. This particular brother, a lot of y'all know who he is, Deshaun Jackson. All right. He posted a so-called anti-Semitic quote attributed to Hitler and Louis Farrakhan on Instagram. All right. See, let's get into what. Deshaun Jackson said that's got them in such a fucking uproar when it comes down to talking about anti-Semitic, which are, they, 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 they using that word in the wrong context. I'm going to tell you something about what anti-Semitic is really all about. Anti-Semitic. There's no way that you can be anti-Semitic for speaking the truth against a people that claim to be somebody that they're not. All right. Anti-Semitic. It means like 
you hate those people. Those are hateful words or whatever towards those people. So I'm saying this. The fact that we are the, 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 the Shemites here in this country, we are the Shemites in this country. See? Not these knockoffs that say they are Jewish. They didn't say they was Jews. See, they twist words. Words. Words have so much power. They twist words. They said Jewish. So that's just like uh, when you make Kool-Aid, it says it has like 10% juice in it, but it's not really like it's a juice. It has other additives in it. So that kind of makes it like not a juice, all right? But 10% juice, all right? Or no, it, it, maybe not even with Kool-Aid, but some juice you might find out of a store is a 10% juice. That means it's been watered down, all right? But is, the real, is it the real juice? No. That's what it boils down to. So to be anti-Semitic, we would have to be hating on our own selves, but we have been doing that. <laughs> I must admit. You know what I'm talking about. I, have, I must admit that as a people, we have been hating on our own selves. So that's the only time anti-Semitic counts. But to get into what Deshaun Jackson said, all right? It says here, because the white Jews know that the Negroes are the real children of Israel and to keep America secret, the Jews will blackmail America. They will extort America. Their plan for world domination won't work if the Negroes know who they, are, they were. The white citizens of America will be terrified to know that all the time they've been mistreating and discriminating and lynching the children of Israel. What did we just see on that $20 bill? The back of that $20 bill. Everything that he just brung up. You see? Everything that he just brought up. And mind you, but after the, the, the Messiah said in the first place, like I said earlier on, they claim to be of the brother Judah, but they are not. They are the sinner God of Satan. That's who they are. But they don't want to be known as that. But guess what? The wool is, pulling, is being pulled off our eyes. All right? See, Hitler said a long time ago that we was the pearl of the most high. That's who we are here in America. Hitler said that. All right. Now you get these little I, what. And this is my own um, opinion about Max Kellerman. Cocaine riddle. I twitching motherfuckers like him talking about uh, that there's some bad information out here. And I want to play that clip right quick. Hang on. Again, shout out to the sister Annette Diamond for uh, hipping me on to this, the brother Judah right here. Big Judah. You know, Big Judah is, A. Hey, he is what he is. Big. And he's heavy into actually... Uh, getting the word of the most high out to the people. And shout out to you as well, brother Big Judah. Um, I hope you don't mind me using just a little bit of your clip just to get the message across, okay? Or what have you. For for, for those of y'all that, you know, um, don't know about Big Judah, y'all check him out. You know, check him out and stuff. You know, he's getting the word out and that's what we need. You know, we need to do this. I just wanted to play this little clip about Max Kellerman here. All right, I, and Max Kellerman is the one, of course, you know, to the right right here. This dude is pissed off at what Sean, Deshaun Jackson said, you know? And Deshaun Jackson is actually apologizing for what he said. But what the hell do they need to keep apologizing for the damn truth for? Truth hurts. Truth is a big stick that went upside their goddamn head and they mad about it. Truth is a sword, a double-edged sword. You understand? As they say, the Messiah's tongue is, cuts both ways, and it hurts, don't it? Max Kellerman. Listen to what Max Kellerman said right here. If you guys are still talking, 
you know, about how anything pre-Columbian over here. This big Judah uh, right here. We don't accept, but there's all this great archaeological information here. Who's the idiot? There's all this information that shows that the natives here or the Hebrews here were way more advanced. But who's the idiot? Who's ignorant? So you guys don't have, you don't have the, uh, most high hasn't given you that opportunity or that time now to just to be able to say, well, this is because I said it. And if I said it, then that means if you don't agree with me, you're ignorant. That's what you guys have been able to do the last 500 years. But like I said, the most high you pretty much showed after that 4th of, 4th of July, um, blood moon, that things are going to be ramping up. And now you're seeing how this is ramping up right here. Now, let's, let's just take a look. We're, gonna take, we're just going to listen to what uh, Max is saying. I don't know, I don't know what uh, Stephen A. ends up saying later on. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, but I'm going to let you guys listen to what Max said here. Yes, and here's the problem. The white citizens of America, he quotes, will be terrified to know all this time. They've been mistreating and discriminating and lynching the children of Israel. In other words, let me be very clear what this means. I'm from New York as you are, Stephen A. I understand what he's what he thinks he's saying. There is bad information out there, um, especially on the streets, by the way, that... Okay, so there's bad information out there, especially on the streets. Why? Who said this bad information? Is it, they're not coming, you guys are not coming now, you Gentiles are not coming from a position of authority anymore. Prove how that's bad information. So you've been able to go to your churches and talk about why Jesus, good times Jesus this whole time, not have to actually prove anything. Now the Most High is making you have to prove what you're saying. You know, getting all uh, upset, all this false emotion and everything else. Once all that plays out, now you need to prove what you're saying. You just can't say, oh, I'm from New York. See, when they're saying I'm from New York and you're from New York, they know they're talking about the Hebrew Israelites that are on the camp brethren that are out there that have been teaching for years. And so they know, you see, and, that's, and how slick they are with it. They want to talk about the Hebrew Israelites, but they don't want to bring them up. So that's exactly what he's talking about. He's, that's, the little people, that's the people he's talking about have false information. Now, see, they can't prove them wrong. That's exactly why they won't bring them up. They won't mention them. They'll talk about their information. But they won't go out there and, and say, you know, yeah, we know you we were both from New York. We see the Hebrews left on the corner teaching. And this is that. They don't want to bring that up because they don't want people to go in and search that out. Because they're going to realize that they've been lied to. They're trying to hide the truth. That's what it all boils down to. But you can't hide the truth when the Messiah said in the first place, who these knockoffs are, okay? Number one, and they own people who said it. Hitler himself said who we are over here in America when Jesse, uh, 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 Jesse Owens went over there and dominated in the, uh, the Olympics over in Germany. I think that was back in the 1940s, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was back in the 1940s. I'm not really sure. But anyway, let me show y'all some. Let me let me let me show you how the most high worked to show the people who's who. Check this out. Now y'all see this right here. You see what it is. Check this out. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore you shall serve your enemies, whom the Lord will send against you in hunger, in thirst, in nakedness and in need of everything and he will put a yoke of iron on your neck until he has destroyed you all right this is what happened to our ancestors that big yoke of iron that's that yoke of iron on his neck you do you see this with a fucking lock on it bells and everything who can a bell all up on the head he can't go nowhere without ringing unless he got this yoke of iron off his neck and this is the people that it happened to over here that was brought over here and they also done it to the people that were all over here because they, they, de they declared, declared us as the same people you see and this is the reason why a lot of y'all got to understand the tribe of Judah which most likely was probably uh, like this brother right here 
the tribes of the Native American, same thing, but just different looks in the bone structure. You understand in our faces, the tribes of uh, Latinos, the Latinos, which I think is Ephraim or Simeon. I can't, I don't remember, you know, exactly. But blacks, Native Americans and Hispanics, in other words, Latinos or what have you. This is who they're talking to. This is who the, what the Most High, who he's referencing his words to right here. Not these knockoffs. Let me show you who the knockoffs are. This is who the knockoffs really is. People that are not even able to su sustain, I mean, to even be out in the sunlight. You know, out in the sun for long, long periods of time without something like this happening to them, okay? Now, do y'all think that the Most High will make a people that's not meant to inhabit this earth like this? Do, I, I, mean, I mean, do you think that he would make someone to, um, to, to, to put them in the sunlight, you understand, and this happens? No. No, because the Most High does not make mistakes, Okay? There's no flaws in his creation physically. There's only one type of people that's here that's able to withstand the sun. And we all know who that is. You see. Now, I was going to go into uh, Nick Cannon, but hey. Nick Cannon told the truth and it wasn't no need for him to apologize. But being that as it may, uh, the reason why he apologizes is basically to sustain his life thereof, you know, or what have you, just like with Deshaun Jackson. But the thing is, is this, their hearts are still in the same, you know, uh, uh, way as in reference to what they said in the first place. They were forced to apologize, okay, forced. They didn't have to, but there would have been so many other uh, extenuating circumstances thereafter if they didn't. My advice be to them is to just get prepared to live a regular lifestyle, you know, and let all that go. That's if you're not sworn into secrecy so much unto death, if you know what I mean. Well, I went over, you know, pretty much everything that I want to go over or what have you. And uh, look, y'all check these things out. Y'all get ready because there will be battle. Y'all get ready. You know, I've showed y'all, you know, what's going on. A lot of you already know, you know. Some of you, I haven't shown anything to you that you didn't even already know. But for those of you that didn't know, this is what's happening right here. All right. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular uh, video right here. I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are, this is James, and I'm out. Peace.